A child is considered a neonate or a newborn from birth through the first 28 days of life. Is it normal for him to sleep so much? The first day or two, many sleep almost constantly. Being born was just as exhausting for him as it was for you. The first month of life is a time when the neonate's body functions, such as digestion, temperature, regulation, and sleeping, are becoming established. Neonates can focus on faces, smile in response to a smile, and lift their heads, but they are in a state of total dependency. The startle or moro reflex is one of several reflexes neonates are born with to help cope with life outside the womb. The presence of normal reflexes such as grasping, gagging, and startling are key health care issues for the neonate. Other areas of assessment include APGAR scores and age-appropriate vital signs. Axle area temperature should be between 36.5 and 37.6 degrees Celsius. Apical heart rate should be rapid from 120 to 140 beats per minute, and respirations should also be high from 30 to 60 per minute. Blood pressure should be about 65 over 40 millimeters of mercury in the arm and calf. After an initial weight loss of up to 10% in the first three or four days after birth, there should be a steady weight gain and growth. The birth weight should be regained by the 10th day and then a regular gain should continue. Because of their much smaller airways, neonates are at great risk of respiratory distress. You should be alert for unusual breath sounds, such as stridor, wheezing, or grunting, and other signs of respiratory distress, such as irritability or cyanosis. Always handle the neonate in a gentle, comforting, and soothing manner. Avoid overstimulation. Speak to the neonate in a soft, comforting voice. Help parents learn proper child care skills, including feeding, diapering, and bathing. Be sure parents understand that a neonate has immature heat regulation and needs to be kept warm. With changes in the health care system, neonates are going home earlier these days, and sometimes with potential health care problems that haven't been identified. New parents should be taught.